Hello. Today we're going back in history and we're going to look at some notable people that were born right here in Clinton. I hope you enjoy this week's uh, presentation and want to remind you that genealogy department is open to everyone. Bobby Sturgeon, born August 6, 1919, died March 10, 2007. Robert Harwood Sturgeon was a shortstop and second baseman in Major League Baseball, and he played for the Chicago Cubs between 1940 and 1948. At the end of his career, he, in 1948, he played for the Boston Braves. He's listed at six feet tall, 175 pounds, batted and threw right-handed. And he was born right here in Clinton, Indiana. Sturgeon was one of many major league players who saw his baseball career interrupted when he joined the U.S. Navy during World War II. His most productive season came for the 1946 Cubs when he posted a career-high 296 batting average. In a seasoned career, Sturgeon had a lifetime batting average of 257 with one home run and 80 RBIs. And this was during a 421 game uh, activity, including 106 runs, 48 doubles, 12 triples, and seven stolen bases. Sturgeon died in San Dimas, California at the age of 87. Danny Polo. He was born December 22, 1901, and died July 11, 1949. He was an American jazz clarinist. His father also played the clarinet. Danny learned to play from a young age, working in marching bands from the age of eight. Claude Thornhill played with Danny as a duo in his youth. In the 1920s, Polo played with Elmer Schobel, Merritt Brunies, Arnold Johnson, Ben Burney, Gene Golcat, and Paul Ash. In 1927, he went with Dave Toe to Europe, where he played with several Continental band leaders, including Bert Furman, Lud Gluskin, George Carhart, Ben Berlin, and Arthur Briggs. From 1930 to 1935, Polo played with Ambrose and then returned to the U.S. in December of 35. In 1938, he returned to Britain to play with Ambrose again and worked with Ray Ventura in Paris in 1939. Late in 39, he moved back to the U.S. for good and spent the early 40s working with Joe Sullivan, Jack Teagarden, which included playing in the movie Birth of the Blues, where Bing Crosby starred in the film. Then he went back to Thornhill again. While with Thornhill, he became ill and died rather suddenly in 1949. Polo played in several experimental sessions with Miles Davis before his death in 47 and 48. He died in Chicago of hemorrhaging that resulted from a peptic ulcer. He was 47. Ken Kerchival. Born July 15, 1935, died April 21, 2019. He was born July 15, 1935, in Walcottville, Indiana, to Marine Doc Kerchival, a local physician, and the former Christine Ryber, a registered nurse. He was raised in Clinton as a teenager 
and often was with his dad in the operating room and once put two stitches in his sister Kate when she had an appendectomy. Kerchival attended Indiana University not to become a doctor, but to major in music and drama. He later studied at the University of Pacific and starting in 1956 at the Neighborhood Playhouse in New York under Sanford Meisner. Ken Kirchville is best known for having played J.R.'s nemesis Cliff Barnes on the CBS television series Dallas. He starred in the show from 1978 to 1991, from its pilot episode to the series finale. He initially was cast as Ray Krebs before being given the role of Cliff Barnes. Kerchival and Larry Hagman were the only Dallas cast members to stay with the series throughout its entire run. Kerchival's character was only a reoccurring character during the final two seasons. He became a regular cast member in the 79-80 season. Kerchival reprised the role of Cliff Barnes in the 1996 Dallas reunion, J.R. Returns, and he appeared in the 2004 CBS reunion special. He again reprised the role in the Dallas 2012 series. A lifelong smoker, Kerchival was a lung cancer survivor after having part of his lung removed in 19. 94. Kerchival has been married three times, divorced three times, and had five children. And as of 2012, he had six grandchildren. Kerchival, living in Clinton at the time, died of pneumonia on April 21, 2019, at the age of 83. Charles Edward Jones, born November 8, 1952, died September 11, 2001. Charles Jones was born November 8 in Clinton, Indiana. He graduated from Richita East High School in 1970 and earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Astronomical Engineering from the United States Air Force Academy in 74. He received a Master of Science degree in Astronautics from MIT in 1980. He entered the U.S. Air Force Manned Spaceflight Engineering Program in 82 and was scheduled to fly on mission STS-71B in December of 1986, but the mission was canceled after the Challenger disaster in January of 86. He left the Manned Space Flight Engineering Program in 87. He later worked for Defense Intelligence Agency at Bowling Air Force Base in Washington, D.C. and was Systems Program Director for Intelligence and Information Systems, HASCOM, AFB, Massachusetts. He was killed at the age of 45 I am sorry, he was killed at the age of 48 in the attacks of September 11, 2001, aboard American Airlines Flight 11. He had been living as a retired U.S. Air Force colonel in Bedford, Massachusetts at the time of his death. He was survived by his wife, Jeanette. At the National 9-11 Memorial, Jones is memorialized at the North Pool on panel N-74. Thank you for tuning in this week, and we'll see you again soon.